This is Warzone Jones, and I'm back with my next video. And I want to talk about this year's WrestleMania. I want to talk about, more particularly, the two world title matches that I feel that is being overshadowed. I'm talking about the match between CM Punk and Chris Jericho, and the other world title match between Sheamus and Daniel Bryan. Now, Daniel Bryan and Sheamus, these guys had a match at last year's WrestleMania, I believe, and it was a dark match. So these guys had wrestled before, but it was a dark match at WrestleMania. This time, these guys are having a world title match, and if it's a dark match, well, let's be honest. Let's be honest here. That is a bunch of bull I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to leave it at that. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. But, no, crap. No, hopefully that's not going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen, but it shouldn't happen, and it better not. The other world title match, CM Punk versus Chris Jericho. This is quite possibly going to be a match still. So hopefully this match gets time. Hopefully both these matches get time, because let's be honest here. These two matches are not the headline match. Now, should it be that way? Shouldn't the world title match be the headline match? Now, we have had WrestleManias before in the past when, when the world title match wasn't necessarily the headline match. It wasn't necessarily the match, rather I should say, that everybody was paying to see. Undertaker and Triple H and then The Rock versus John Cena, those are really the headline of the card. More particularly, The Rock versus John Cena. That's really the headline of, you know, of the card. The Rock's name is one of the reasons why WrestleMania is selling a lot of money. It's making a lot of money. Now, Although the world title matches are supposed to be the most coveted prize in pro wrestling, it's not the main event. So should it be that way? Should that be that way? You got to think about it. Should it be that way? I don't think it necessarily should be that way. But although it shouldn't be that way, I can understand why it's that way this time for this year's WrestleMania. The Rock and John Cena's star power is just powerful. It is big. You got the two... Some of the two most popular baby faces of all time going head to head. Like these guys are about to they are about to collide with each other. Just like the Rock versus Austin. Although I mean excuse me, just like the Rock versus uh no what's Hulk Hogan. When these guys fought each other, it wasn't a headline of the match. It wasn't a headline of the car. But that was pretty much the match that everybody wanted to see the most. It had the best height, it had the best build up. It had the most, you know, anticipation. And they wasn't the, the, the very last match on the car, but they was talking about, well, maybe it should be because, you know, it's, it's, it's the Rock and Hogan. That's why. So when you think about it, although the two world title matches are not the headline match, CM Punk's star power, it can't really, it's not, it's not as big as John Cena or The Rock. Although CM Punk is a pretty popular star, it's not as big as John Cena as The Rock. Even Chris Jericho, as much as I love Chris Jericho, love Chris Jericho to death, big fan of Chris Jericho, but Chris Jericho was never a bigger star than The Rock. He never was. Um, hopefully Jericho fans don't try to tear me a new asshole for that, but, uh, <laughs> he, you know, it, it just never was. And especially Sheamus and CM Punk, I mean, excuse me, Sheamus and, and Daniel Bryan, you know, their star power ain't bigger than those guys. So the, the reality is this, those two world title matches, those matches are not going to draw a, a big, huge buy rate like The Undertaker and Triple H's Hell in a Cell match would or The Rock and John Cena's match would. That's just how I feel. Um, those matches, those world title matches are completely being overshadowed, but I understand why. It's a, it's a star power thing. Those guys are bigger stars than them, and that's why, you know, they're, that's why they're just headlining. That's, that's, that's pretty much the reason. And on top of that, it's The Rock's hometown in Miami. So it makes sense because they're going to make more money with that match as they headline than CM Punk or Chris Jericho as they headline for this year of WrestleMania or Sheamus or and, uh, Daniel Bryan. So those are my thoughts on that. That's all I got to say. This is Warzone Jones. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. I'm out. Deuces.